After 38 years at Lockyer Street on the Hoe, Plymouth's registration records are on the move. The council is responsible for approximately 4,500 birth, death and marriage registers. These are all original records and date back to 1837, so moving something like a historic repository, which holds so much of the city's history, is a once-in-a-generation move. And these are so beautiful to look at. Um, but I'm going to have to stop you there because you're not, we're not actually allowed to film any of the registers. OK, we won't go any further. So just how difficult is it to move these registers? Plymouth Superintendent Registrar is Cheryl Spear. It's not just a relocation of the register office. We have to first and foremost ensure the safe custody of the registers um, and all of our secure stock. Um, we have to make sure that you know, if there's any damage inside the building that whatever would happen, those records are kept safe. Like you say, it's part of Plymouth's history um, and we want to, the most important thing is that we maintain the safety of them. Building a new repository means creating a strong room within another secure room, capable of protecting the registers from things like fire, flood and even building collapse. Once the room was finished, all those thousands of registers you saw earlier had to be methodically packed up, sealed in crates and signed out of Lockyer Street before they were signed back into their new home at Derriford Business Park. <coughs> Moving the registers is part of improvement plans that will allow the council to provide a more modern, flexible and accessible facility. Councillor Sally Hayden is the council's cabinet member responsible for customer service. She helped the registration and library team to pack up the Lockyer Street site and explains why the move is so important. It's really important for the for customer experience, for starters. It makes um, it so much more easier for um, our users to be able to register our births and deaths. Um, so if you're, you're having a baby, you're literally so close to Derriford Hospital. Um, same with, you know, if you need to register a death, you are so close. Um, so it's, it's really important. It's, it's nice also to have a nice, clean, bright atmosphere in here. And the building is lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, so much better. It's taken the registration team hours to painstakingly put all the registers back in the correct date order. But now they've done it, the new site at Derriford is officially open for business. I just can't say thank you enough. They're very dedicated to their, their work. And, you know, like I say, the registration service, the library um, staff as well with the van, the move, some really heavy boxes, and the team have been absolutely, you know, brilliant. So a great big thank you from me.